It is that time. We are approaching the month of February. We are a few months away from either knowing anything about the new NASCAR uh, video game this year or even a release date in the summer or, or September. We don't know yet, but we're getting closer and closer to the time where we expect some news. And so now, as you can tell by the title of the video, uh, we have talked about career mode. But first, guys, I have a very exciting announcement to make. I have teamed up with the coldest water they've decided to sponsor a series of videos and uh, go in the description below there's two links one for a coldest giveaway that they do every single week for a premium water bottle and uh, a link to their website use the code rr10 for 10 percent off your entire order now these water bottles are insane they are insulated water bottles if you know what a hydro flask is it is very similar to a hydro flask but better i'll leave another link in the description below that shows a comparison between a hydro flask and, a, and, the, and the coldest water and i'm not kidding you the coldest water blows it out of the water i didn't mean to say that pun but that's actually kind of weird so big thanks to the coldest water for supporting the channel sponsoring the video and guys make sure you go check it out i would not be telling you if it wasn't a, a legit it's legit i actually have one myself and this thing's crazy in terms of keeping a drink hot or super cold, whatever you need. You can get coolers, ice packs, whatever you want. Go there, use code RR10 for 10% off your entire order. Thanks again to The Coldest Water for sponsoring the video. Speaking of sponsors, let's now transition to NASCAR. I mean, like, come on, the entire sport's built off sponsors, even the games. We got sponsors everywhere. So let's talk about the career mode in NASCAR 2021. There's gonna be multiple videos on this game. Right now, I only wanna focus on one part. We're not talking about the game engine or the core of the game, just the career mode, just the, just a specific game mode uh, and my expectations and hopes for what is coming this year and hopefully in the future. Because what, as you guys know, or if you don't know, the NASCAR 2021 game is going to be a complete fresh start, complete fresh. Think about it as like a, a, like a repave of a racetrack. Like it's completely brand new, except instead of just repaving it, you're also dusting it up, like you're, you're taking Auto Club, making it a, a mile, a half mile track. You're, you know, bulldozing areas, and, and you're completely redoing everything. That is what NASCAR 2021 is going to be like. With that in mind, I will also take into consideration, or you, you guys should as well, that not everything in the career mode on year one of a brand new game is going to be ideal. Uh, most of these things I'm looking for probably will take a few years. But at least for the first year, I don't want to see a bland career mode. For example, NASCAR Heat Evolution, guys. The first time you Technics, or was it? No, it was 704 games. Where's NASCAR Heat Evolution? There was no career mode. It was just championship, like a normal championship season. There was no career mode. That can't happen again if we're gonna rewrite the game code and re and redo everything. We have to have a proper career mode in there, but it can't be too bland. I am expecting a lack of depth in certain areas because a lot of the area a lot of other areas of the game need to be focused on for example redoing every track all the cars redoing all the physics completely redoing the code on the new game engine that takes up a lot of time so i'm not expecting a super in-depth career but i do want improvements because i am really tired of the same thing over and over one of the first things i want in in career mode actually funny to do enough with this video is sponsored is actually to do with sponsors i i want more sponsors in the game so now currently in nascar eat five you have you you pick a sponsor throughout a season but there's no secondary sponsor no uh third sponsors no, no negotiating with sponsors i think the the business of nascar is very interesting and something you could put in a nascar game for example in f1 you do have four sponsors you have uh, associate sponsors a primary sponsor you can put them on different areas of the car it is kind of cut and dry. I'm not expecting much to be here. Like, okay, you just kind of negotiate and you do do something. I think having goals to meet is nice, uh, but really, I don't want anything more than that. Like, give me a goal to meet, give me the sponsor name, tell me what they want, what I have to achieve. You know, is it for one race, for two races? Do they want a specific race? Do they want to be in the Daytona 500? Um, being a sponsor of the Daytona 500 might cost more. I think that's something that's cool. So at the start of your career, you're kind of like an underfunded team. You're looking for sponsors. Maybe one race you don't have a sponsor and the other race you do. You're hopping around from sponsor to sponsor. You get this sponsor for three races and then you have to go to another sponsor and try to find that one too. And you just continue negotiating. Uh, NASCAR Heat 5 does have a fan count. So maybe if they want to use that fan counter and associate that into 
the uh, sponsor negotiation somehow. That's something that I really want. I just want more of the business side of the career mode. If I am going to run my own team, if I'm going to be a driver, let me try to promote myself or market myself and get new sponsors. And I think that's very, it's a very nice, It's a, I think it's a small feature, but it's a nice feature to have in career modes because it kind of, uh, like I, I've said in previous videos when it comes to career mode videos, it immerses you in the game. Okay, like I am, I am doing this career mode in this video game and I'm trying to build my way up and I need sponsors and, and these guys are not going to sponsor a first time rookie driver in the truck series or something. So we have to work our way up with smaller sponsors and just keep working. Uh, and, and NASCAR, he already has a plethora of sponsors in, in their version of a, a paint booth. They have around, I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot. I mean, we've got Gatorade in there. we got a lot of actually real life NASCAR sponsors, Hooters in there. You could incorporate that into the game, make some of them secondary sponsors, um, get some, maybe even some fantasy sponsors. I'm okay with that. Uh, and, and make those fantasy sponsors the really low end sponsors and then work your way up to the, the real life um, the sponsorships there. I think that would be really cool. So that's one of the things I'm looking at in the career mode. I don't think it's a very big feature. I think it's something that can be implemented. And so you guys see, I'm, I'm kind of tempering my expectations here. You're not going to hear me say I want a paint booth because I'm not expecting a paint booth year one with a brand new game. Trust me. I think it's insanely important. Uh, it would do wonders for the game. I just don't know if it's coming in the next game. So that's why I'm not talking about it. Next up for the career mode, I would like a rework on rivals or teammates. I would like partnerships in the game somewhat. So currently there is an option even just to disable rivals in career mode. Rivals don't do anything. They just kind of hit you off the track and that's it. Uh, the social media links are really boring. They're repetitive and that's, you know, there's nothing else there. Uh, NASCAR Heat 2 or 3 went for like these video ideas where the developers would core drivers the racetrack and they would just do some really weird like two three second stand that was really stupid as well this is something where i don't really know the idea of what i would want here but i would want something to immerse give me like if i have a teammate make that teammate important you know like make can we work together on the racetrack can can they can they be more involved in my career they talk to me more or something like that um that, that's something i think uh, a rival or, or, or teammate kind of alliance uh, would be helpful. I'm not expecting this because I think it's very hard to really immerse yourself in this area. Like, when you get a rival, what are they going to do? Are they, like, they're not really going to do anything other than probably bash you on social media, which NASCAR 85 already has, but that's it. It's just like a, a menu screen and then run into you on the racetrack. Um, I, I would like to get a little bit more in depth than that, but. Uh, I, I mean, the, I, I honestly, the little cutscenes after a race where you're fighting is really funny to me. Even that would be like all I kind of want. So if you could just put a little cutscene in there, have the two guys fighting, and, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's kind of all I want. <laughs> I'll be okay with that. Give me five to six different variations of it. And after a race, if I make someone mad, let's go into the garage area. Let's, let's, let's get it, you know? Also on the social media side, I would like fans to be involved. So I think right now it's currently only like drivers saying stuff. Just... Have a system that you could put um, a few hundred fans comments and and just have them kind of it, obviously it'll get repetitive over time but initially be kind of cool just can you respond to a fan uh, if you get this certain sponsorship similar to NBA 2k where you get put on a magazine or you get put on a billboard like can you go on social media and see your driver and your car on a billboard or a magazine something you could easily do in like a little Photoshop and and put that in the game that'd be something nice too third thing i would want in career mode actually goes into the majority of the game and this is something that is kind of a pet peeve of mine it's not really i don't think a massive thing and you guys as you guys know i'm not going into massive things here i just want to pick the amount of laps i want to do in a race that's all i don't give me percentages not five percent ten percent thirteen percent twenty five percent no 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 give me the full race distance that I'm available to, so if it's at Bristol, I can go up to 500 laps. If I am at Daytona, I can go up to 200 laps. But let me pick the exact distance of the race I want. I think that's a very simple thing to do. I don't know why we go for race percentages. I assume it has something to do with coding with the AI. My theory for this would just have the AI coded in a way where on certain, you know, however many laps of fuel they have left and tires, make them pit at that certain time. Let me pick the distance of the race. Just let me pick how many laps I want this thing to be. And when the AI think they're low on fuel or low on tires, they have to come down pit road. If they're halfway through a run, code them to come down pit road. Uh, I want to pick the race distance. That's something I think in career mode is very beneficial because 
When you have a gap between 13% and 25% in race distance, you have kind of two extremes there. 13% is too short, especially with stages. 25% sometimes can be too long for other people. Sometimes people just want to get the race over with and be a little bit quicker. There's no middle option. Just let people pick the exact laps they want a certain race. Maybe someone doesn't want to do 125 laps in Martinsville because 125 laps in Martinsville takes longer than 125 laps at Bristol. So it's just a little bit different. Number four, I have said this multiple, multiple, multiple times. Make the money matter. Now this goes back into the sponsorship thing because negotiating with sponsors will get you more money. But I didn't talk about, oh, hey, well, if you get more money, then what happens? So currently in NASCAR Heat 5, and all the NASCAR Heat games, and I've talked to the developers about this, they want to make the money matter more, they just have the time to do it, so I'm hoping that they can do it in the new game. We have to have some sort of expense category. We cannot just always get revenue. So you always get revenue from the race purse, from the sponsorships, then what are you paying out? You just pay out to upgrade your car, you get your car to a max level, that's it. It's very, very simplistic, very, very just boring in a way. There has to be an expense category where if I want to be, you know, growing in, in NASCAR and getting better and better as a, as, a, in a, as a driver or as an owner, there has to be expenses. My pit crew, my, my team members, my engineers, my fabricators, my crew chief, everyone at the race shop, right? They all should have a salary that you should have to pay. Depending on the level of these guys, you could have a really high salary for someone that's really good at their job, gives you a little bit faster car but then you have a lot of expenses. So for example, at the start of your career, you could hire a very, very good crew chief. They're gonna have a very, very high salary. And next thing you know, because you're struggling for sponsors, you might not be able to afford that crew chief. And maybe you will go uh, into the negative in terms of your in terms of your funds. And that's not good, because then you're in debt, and then you gotta figure things out. And maybe you'll have to lower down, and, and you can't spend any money uh, in research and stuff. Making the money matter is is so so important that that will change the career tenfold because at that point you have to really think about what you have to do and there's a lot of different systems you could put in place so not only do you have to focus on what's going on in the racetrack you have to focus on what you're doing behind the scenes now if, if you're only a driver maybe this doesn't really come into part because you're again you're only a driver you're not paying for this stuff but when you become an owner of a team you should really have to think about your expenses it should not be simple as you bring revenue in no you should pay for repairing your cars you should pay for research and development you should pay for uh, upgrading your pit crew and that is all separate one-time payments then you should have weekly payments of paying salary for all your team members paying a weekly fee for the tires you have to bring to every racetrack paying paying th those kind of things like race teams have to pay for tires every single week we should have to pay for tires too so Give me the set, uh, 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 an amount of tires I can have for a race. So, so for example, if, if I come to a race weekend, I actually have to decide how many tires I want to bring. Do I only want to bring two sets, three sets, four sets? The more sets I bring, in case more cautions come in, I come down pit road more often, then the more money I have to spend. And I don't think I have to do that for the AI. The AI could just have as many sets as they want. But for you, you can determine, all right, well, how much you know do I have to spend on tires every week? These are just some ideas. Make the money matter. Make me have to pay for things. Make me suffer. Make me realize that not everything is free. That's really important. And again, that goes in line with the sponsorships. So if you negotiate with the sponsors and you, you negotiate well and you, you're able to keep getting sponsors in your car, you're able to you know afford more things, afford better members, afford uh, better uh, people in your shop, afford more tire sets, I don't know, afford being able to go sign autographs with the fans. I know that's a funny feature that I don't think is coming back anytime soon, but still. And number five, uh, we're going to talk about stats. Now, stats is very boring to me, and I don't really care. But uh, I do think there needs to be just a little bit better stats. Just you know, This is going to be a very short segment part of the video. Better stats, all right? Just more detailed stats, not just kind of like seven categories and it carries on through the career. Give, give me stats on other drivers. What are they doing? And, and what are their results and, and, and stuff like that. Number six is a pipe dream because... As you guys know, NASCAR is a business, and, and the video games are a business, and let's just say the, the teams and the drivers don't like when certain things, or they don't want certain things happening in fantasy situations. So number six is really difficult, but if there is a way, try to get driver swaps, driver retirements, that's something that's really hard, and again, I'm saying this 
with just kind of like hope. I don't think it's going to happen. This this has stuff to do. This has nothing to do with the developers, guys. They would love to do this. This has everything to do with real life NASCAR and how crazy some people are. So the reason why uh, this is not in the game is because obviously you could imagine, let's say Kyle Busch is now driving for, I don't know, Penske. And that's in the video game. Well, that can have a perception of things that happen in real life and it, and, and uh, the, the sponsor of, of M as Mars or, or M&M's, you know, they see their driver driving now a Budweiser car in a video game like that. That thing doesn't that doesn't work out for them. They don't like that. Neither does the race team, neither does the driver. So driver swaps is difficult because you can't take Kyle Busch and put him in a different car with a different sponsor on a different team. So this is where that gets tricky. If there is a workaround driver swaps and driver reti retirements would be nice even just driver retirements i wouldn't mind fantasy drivers coming into the cup series i would not mind that so let's say uh jimmy johnson just retired but let's say you know he was still in the sport one more year and then jimmy johnson retires and then you have to bring someone else into the 48 car you now you can't move someone into that like a real life driver in the 48 car because again that's where you get into real life licensing issues like you can't just take Let's say Noah Graxon goes into the 48 car from the Xfinity series. That it doesn't work like that. You can't do that in the game. So then you would put a fantasy driver. That is one workaround. So at least you have retirements. Um, and again, the career. No, not many people are gonna go like 10 years into a career. So you'll have a few retirements and a few fantasy drivers. But it makes it kind of better that you know. Okay, after two years, maybe Kevin Harvick retires, right? And then someone else enters that four car, and it's not just Kevin Harvick. Uh, that's something I've been thinking about. You guys are gonna have to let me know if that's something you want. Uh, I think it would be cool. It's just you're getting to really tricky territory when it comes to to doing that. Number seven, something as simple as pre-race intros. Uh, I really want pre-race intros, man. I want a broadcast team. I don't care who you get, MRN, uh, Fox, NBC. I don't care. You get get iRacing's guys to come in and do a pre-race intro. I simply do not care. Get some version. Oh, a pre-race intro in for career mode now it could be simply just for the cup series you don't have to do it for xfandy and trucks but once you get to the cup series you get to the daytona 500 boom pre-race cinematic fireworks the the flyover national anthem the lineup you know something like that you don't you don't have to do it for every race you don't have to do it for the race now category but when you get to career mode i want to see pre-race intros all right i've been asking for this for multiple years I'm not given the excuse of, oh, we're going to the new game. At no, 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 no. You could have done it on the previous one. You could do it here. I want it. And number eight, last but not least, uh, just some weird fantasy events. Now, what I mean by this is you guys know maybe on Inside Line, you had invitational events. On F1, you have, uh, again, like weird invitational events. Uh, in what was it NASCAR 2005, you had like 1v1 showdowns with other drivers. Think of something fun. Some, it could be something completely wacky. Doesn't have to be that realistic. Just something really fun. I don't know. Go race Kyle Larson on a dirt track in an invitational event, and winner gets uh, I don't know, like a shout out on social media or a certain amount of followers or a certain amount of money. Like just something that breaks up that you know the, the the career mode a little bit so you're not doing the same thing over and over like oh there's like a, a little invitational event sprinkled in there get that done those are the things i'm looking for in the career mode now notice i've not talked about something like r d points and stuff like that i did talk about it a little bit but i didn't say like oh put like an entire new development system in the game i don't think that thing's coming yet like i don't think you could put all those things I, i'm looking at year one of a brand new game brand new engine brand new career mode what can we put I'm thinking of little smaller things like sponsor negotiations, social media, kind of, you know, interaction, rival and 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 uh, teammate systems, pre-race intro. Those are the things I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about paint booth. I'm not thinking about a detailed R&D system where you have 10 different categories. Uh, I'm not thinking about those things. I'm just thinking about smaller things like, for example, the money that was already in the previous game. They wanted to make it matter more. Just have expenses to that. I think these are smaller things that would make the career mode a lot better and and just be much more ideal um then as you carry on through the years with hopefully this uh, again i don't know what the new engine is i don't know what it's looking like but if it is a really good engine and the game has a good core then as you go throughout the years you don't have to focus on 
rebuilding the whole game again, then you could really start adding the big stuff like the paint booth and like really detailed R&D development systems, kind of like NASCAR Thunder 2004. Then we can get into that. But for now, just give me some fun. Give me some fun that might wear out in two weeks or so, but give me some fun. Guys, remember, check the links down below for the coldest water. Really appreciate them for sponsoring this video. Go check the link for the giveaway. Go check the link to go buy yourself a water bottle. Use code RR10. And I will see you guys later. I'll make a lot more NASCAR heat, or not NASCAR heat, but NASCAR 2021 uh, videos in the future. So make sure you subscribe for that because I have a lot to talk about this new game. Guys, this new game, I know I'm hyping it up. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but it's going to be a really big deal. This is going to be the biggest NASCAR game released uh in the last decade in my in my opinion because we're talking about this game will set the tone for the future of the nascar series in terms of the actual game itself the core of the game so this is huge they gotta get this right and uh let's see how they do it i will see you guys later follow me on twitter and instagram if you're not already subscribe if you're new comment down below take care of yourselves peace out